Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Vargas and today I am going to do a Valentine's Day look. But I have to go ahead and give a shout out to my kiss, Press On Nails. These bitches were only 6 bucks and they really hooked the girl up. But anyways, back to the tutorial. I'm using the James Charles palette and I'm taking the shade Love That. And that's going to go all over my crease. That being said, am I the only one that's been watching Valentine's Day tutorials yet have no plans? No more Valentine's? Like, fuck, man, I don't know what I'm doing in my life, but... So I went ahead and did the other eye off camera, and now I'm just taking the shade Skip. It is that vibrant pink shade and that is going to get kind of blended a little bit over that prior shade and this skip shade is about one shade lighter than the love that shade so it's really going to help blend out that first shade and make it look less harsh So then I'm also going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. So I did point at the wrong shade. I'm actually using the shade 518 and that's going to get blended um, a little bit over that skip shade. So I went in with a big fluffy brush just to diffuse the 518 shade really quick and then I am going to go take a, another brush and this is kind of the step where I'm going to go in between all three colors and re-intensify and just kind of build it up to how I want it to be. So here I'm just taking the skip shade and then I'm going to go in with the love that shade and just like I said just go back into those three shades and blend and re-intensify. Then I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand and I'm just going to use that to cut my crease. Then I went off camera just to let the concealer dry down 
and then I came back and I'm taking the shade Boutique Spooky and Benny and that's gonna go on our outer edge of um, the cut crease just to intensify the look a little bit and make it more smoky. Then jumping into the Jaclyn Hills palette, I am just taking the shimmer shade called Sissy. It is a kind of pretty iridescent pink shade and that's going to go all over our cut crease. But if you guys just want to stick to the James Charles palette, you guys can use any of the shimmer shades that you think will look nice. I just wanted to go with something pink and the palette didn't have that. So now that we have the shimmer shade down, it's time to blend out those edges. So we're going to take these two shades right here and we're going to start packing that at the edge of that cut crease just to make it look more blended and seamless too. So as you guys can see here, I just went ahead and went with the skip shade first and then I'm going to go ahead and use the love that shade kind of on top of that just to make it more darker. So I'm going back in with the black shade, mostly from the palette, just because it does get blended away. So I'm kind of just going back in, um, re-intensifying again and adding some black to make it more smoky and then going back in with the love that and skip shade. And then I'm also going back in with the 518 shade, making sure that's blended out as well. This is kind of the process. Um, the process for me for these kind of looks is always putting down the color, re-intensifying, doing the cut crease, going back in with each of the shades, re-intensifying again. And, you know, it really is a process. And doing this does make the look better. Now I'm just going to go work on my bottom lash line, so I'm just going to go back in with those three colors and just run them on my bottom lash line.
So for lips, I am taking the NYX Cosmetics Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cannies. And then for lipstick, I'm taking the MAC So Select Lipstick. And I wanted like a glossy look just because I wanted this look to be very soft. And we already have a lot going on in the eyes anyways. So I'm taking the Coco by Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Sugar Plum. It's a really pretty kind of shimmery lip gloss and it really ties the look together. Then I did lashes off camera and this will complete my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.